Hello, this is Pranay Sai. Here is our topic, Mathematical Operations. In this topic, we deal with fundamental operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, etc. Actually, there is a trick in these questions. These signs and symbols are replaced by artificial ones in the question. Based on the given question, you have to substitute them and solve accordingly. You'll have a clear idea when we start solving the questions. But before that, let's understand the Bodmas rule. What is Bodmas rule? Here B means brackets, O means order or power, D means division, M means multiplication, A means addition, S means subtraction. When you are given a question, you have to first solve the question which is in the bracket, then solve the ones which have powers, then comes the division, then comes multiplication, then addition and finally subtraction. Let's understand this with an example. Here is an example. 16 minus 8 divided by 4 plus 6 divided by 2 into 3. According to Bodmas rule, we have to solve the ones in the bracket first. So 16 minus 8 is equal to 8. We have no powers or orders here. 8 by 4 plus 6 by 2 into 3 is equal to. Then comes division in the order. So 8 by 4 and 6 by 2. These are the things which should be solved first. So 4 plus 3 into 3 is equal to how much? After division comes multiplication. Therefore, 4 plus 9. And finally, we have addition or subtraction. We don't have subtraction here. So, 4 plus 9 is equal to 13. This is the order of solving questions. Now, let's get into the types of questions asked in this topic. Type 1. Problem solving by substitution. Here is a question. If P means division, T means addition, M means subtraction, D means multiplication, then what will be the value of the expression? This is the expression. Let's write down first. M means subtraction, D means multiplication, P means division and T means addition. Let's substitute them in the given expression. 12 minus 12 into 28 divided by 7 plus 15. We have substituted minus in place of M, multiplication in place of D, division in place of P, and addition in place of T. According to Budmas rule, we have to solve division at first as there are no brackets here. So 12 minus 12 into 4 plus 15 because 28 by 7 is 4. Then comes the multiplication segment. Therefore, 12 minus 48 plus 15. After that comes the addition. Therefore, 12 minus 33. And finally, the answer is minus 21. This is the answer. Let's solve another question. If multiplication stands for addition, less than stands for subtraction, addition stands for division, greater than symbol stands for multiplication, minus stands for equal to, division stands for greater than, and equal to stands for less than, then state which of the following is true. He has given a set of options here. Firstly, let's write down what is given in the question. Multiplication stands for addition, less than stands for subtraction, plus stands for division, greater than stands for multiplication, minus stands for equal to, division stands for greater than, and finally equal to stands for less than. By substituting it in each of the options, we get 3 plus 4 into 2 is equal to 
9 divided by 3 minus 3. LHS is not equal to RHS. So this option is wrong. Now comes B. 5 plus 3 minus 7 greater than 8 divided by 4 plus 1. Here LHS is not greater than RHS. So even option B is wrong. Now let's check for option C. 5 into 2 divided by 2 less than 10 minus 4 plus 8. So option C is the right answer. Type 2. Interchange of signs and numbers. Here is the question. Which of the following meanings of the arithmetical signs will yield the value 0 for the below expression? For this expression, which of these options will give us the value as 0? Let's find out. According to option A, plus means minus, minus means multiplication, multiplication means division, division means plus. Let's substitute this in the given expression. 200 divided by 100 minus 300 divided by 200 into 10 plus 2 minus 40. If you solve this according to Bodmas rule, we'll be getting the following steps. 2 minus 3 by 2 into 10 plus 2 minus 40. 2 minus 15 plus 2 minus 40. So this will not give us 0. So option A is wrong. Now let's try for option B. According to option B, plus means minus, minus means division, multiplication means plus and division means multiplication. Let's substitute this in the given expression. 200 plus 100 minus 300 plus 200 divided by 10 into 2 minus 40. Correct? Now let's solve this. According to Bodmas rule, 200 plus 100 minus 300 plus 20 into 2 minus 40. Further simplifying this, 200 plus 100 minus 300 plus 40 minus 40. On further simplifying this, 300 minus 300 plus 40 minus 40 which is equal to 0. So option B will give us the answer as 0. Therefore option B is the correct answer. Type 3 deriving the appropriate conclusions. Here is a question. If A greater than B, B greater than C and C greater than D then which of the following conclusions is definitely wrong? It is given in the question that A is greater than B, B is greater than C and C is greater than D, isn't it? From these three statements, it is clearly evident that A is greater than B is greater than C is greater than D because D is the least one, C is greater than D and B is greater than C and A is greater than B. Therefore, A is greater than B is greater than C is greater than D. Now let's look for the options here. A is greater than D which is correct. A is greater than C which is correct from this expression. D is greater than A. Is it true? D is not greater than A. So option C is the wrong answer.